I love this. It's like when you see somebody's trait, when you see somebody's mandrobot, their pattern that they live in their life, you can tell without a doubt it's there. And Arlene Dickinson, I'm saying that she's, you know, sold her soul to the devil. The only products that she will market are things that are bad for your community. So one of them was Subway. Okay, just being a chain right there is a negative thing on your community and will destroy your country. And it just, you know, it, is that even a Canadian product? No, their head office is in the States. And then I find predatory royalty theft audits, boasting compliance violations suspected of spying, seizing stores without just cause, preying on owners, Milford, Connecticut. This uh, uh, Real Fortune magazine archives on how this chain, led by President Fred DeLuca, nicknamed Ben DeVords, Fred, or whatever, has caused a record number of unhappy franchising, defrauding landlords, and violate laws. Discover why, after a six-year study, U.S. House of Representatives Dean Sagar concluded Subway is the biggest problem in franchising and emerges as one of the key examples of every abuse you can think of, says Cliff Marshall, a franchise consultant for more than 30 years. I'll put the article below, but there you go, Arlene. Every single business that you are marketing in the past or the present is a bad idea. And I love pointing out why all of your businesses are corrupt and why all of society should listen to you. That if you think it's a good idea, we should be repelling the good idea. We should never, ever listen to anything that you are marketing because you can't tell what a good idea is. You couldn't tell what my idea was and it was bad. And I'm passionate about my idea and I can sell my idea if you're interested in a good idea. But you cannot sell a good idea to somebody who never, ever can see a good idea. You cannot change what you cannot acknowledge and the global economic system is crashing you know what as soon as you got a business the first thing that you got to do is sell yourself you are the economic salesperson what we get sold into is what we got to be careful for <laughs> dragons that don't give a shit about their community because they steal everything out of their community so that they can get friggin' wealthy. I mean, the only thing that Arlene Dickinson did for Canada appears to be taking every other um, corporate structure that's not Canada-owned and marketed to Canadians. So all Canadians are buying outside of their community and not supporting local communities. And she's representing thieves. <laughs> Corporate thieves that have enough money to manipulate the justice system to get away with any crime that they want to commit. So it's not like you're looking for a good company just because some judge didn't say, hey, you're guilty of something. We all know the justice system works for the criminals. So it's like all of the criminals are making all of the money. <laughs> Look at your bank account, Arlene. Is it big? Chances are you've been, uh, well, technically, if you really want to speak with it, you're, you're profiting off of a lot of crime. You are the accessory to, to human cruelty. That's cruel to, to commit that level of crimes on people that are supporting you. Subway can do that to its own people. And you know that. And you market them as something that's good. It means you are an accessory to whatever crime that they're doing because you're selling them as if they were a good company. And it's like the Doctors Association owns Subway. A doctor owns a chain? I bet you they got a pill for you, too. Anyways, I'm, I'm loving this. Um, I'm going to analyze more and more businesses that Arlene is marketing. Anybody that's got a list of any company she says is a good idea, I'll tell you where it's harmful for the community. Um, just because we have good ideas, I mean, at some point in time, we're going to have to realize some of them are not as good of an idea as they could be. But um, everybody has something good to offer. It's like when you get good people, 
You know, like when Arlene can tell the difference between a good idea and a bad idea, when she sees a bad idea, then she would develop that bad idea into a good idea. Everything starts off with something that doesn't look a little bit right. You know, it's the process of how can you build everybody because everybody's got a good idea. And Arlene owes that to society to build society up. Everybody's good idea needs to unfold. Everybody's full potential needs to be there. So if something even appears like a bad idea, transform it into something good, Arlene. You're good at marketing. I'm not going to say that you don't know how to market when you know how to market. But market the right things or else see your own money go down. And you're going to cause you, you know, the ones that are going to suffer the most are the ones that don't see it coming. You know, as long as you are living the good life and you get food easy, you don't know how to go and get your own food. So when there's no food out there, you don't know how to grow your own food. You know, you probably don't even know how to cook your own food. You know, and then when you start to see that nobody's able to afford to even make your clothes, you won't be having any clothes to buy because nobody has any money to make the clothes because you're too busy selling everything out. You're a sellout, a Canadian sellout. Peace out.